Alright, we have KFAT stepping up to the stream set up here to take on Spark. Uh, I imagine KFAT is like staff or something, I see a whole mess of badges around their neck and an earpiece. With the Pikachu. It looks like we might not be seeing quite as uh, honed in of uh, a Pikachu as uh, D-Moles has. That being said though, I mean, if you can hit your edge guards in this matchup, anyone can do it. Doesn't matter who you are here in Division 4. If you know how to edge guard Fox, you can succeed. Yeah, just copy what the last Pika did. Maybe a little easier said than done. And yeah, that's kind of the problem uh, with these less experienced Pikachu players is they don't go out far enough. And then when Fox recovers high, they're just like not getting up there to contest it. That was a great back air though. KFAT with the confidence to go out there and use the back aerial. That is a great tool to have in this matchup, just the ability to go and hit Fox. Spark going for this jab up smash. We're at knockdown percent now, so it's a tight window. Builds up a little more damage to make it easier for himself and takes that stock, evening the count three to three. Ford Aerial is coming in from KFAT, just building this damage up off of the stage. Gets stuck in the jab animation though, definitely wanted to up tilt there and just input it a little bit too early. So got the second jab instead. And now all of a sudden it sparks turn to hit the punish. Keeping Pikachu off of the stage, going for a laser. Uh, that could have just been an up smash, I think. But all of a sudden Spark is in a compromising position. Luckily, KFAT not able to close out the edge guard there. Spark is still alive with this third stock here. Okay, just some interesting ledge play going on. If that four tilts under the pressure and just jumps in, uses the slowest there ever. Goes over the fox jab, hits him off the stage. Spark is uh, really just doing a lot of high recoveries with fox. and we are officially DQing people who haven't shown up yet. Looks like for this pool, that is two people. So we have like an average of two DQs per pool going on. Okay. Percent is pretty even here. It's the upper trying to go for another upper, I think, and accidentally up smashed. Jab up smash, KFAT missed the tech. Could have gotten out of that, it was not true. Spark is looking very focused right now. This is such a tough matchup, honestly, to play uh, if you don't have the punish game unlocked. You have to win neutral so many more times than Pikachu. Oh, that up tilt was the right idea from KFAB, but just very slightly too late. Spark able to get in there with the down air, just building up that damage before he loses his stock here. It's a great sign. Spark is playing so safe right now. Gets grabbed from a ridiculous far away distance. I think probably got his hand grabbed going for a jab. Oh, going for the jab up smash again, was not confident enough to go for it there. It's actually like the perfect time when it's pre-knockdown percent, you have so much time uh, on that hit stop. But KFAT, getting Fox off the stage with the dash attack. This could be anyone's game right now. Pikachu is still able to make it back from this. KFAT, I uh, wonder if they know about the Pikachu extended up B or not. It's always kind of like a weird thing. Oh, and catching the up B! With the craziest back air call out, KFAT takes game one against Spark. This game's winner is Pikachu. Very close match though. I think Spark is doing all that he needs to do. Uh, 
just has to execute a little bit better and stop flubbing those jab up smashes. That's such a tough thing. Though. The timing is so tight, especially if you're not used to the game. Uh, like well-seasoned Fox players will miss jab up smashes deep into the bracket. In the past, if you've watched LD's Fox before, you'll see him go for a lot of like jab into grab instead, just because it's a little bit like safer. Like I, I recall, like uh, like the the LD set with Alvin, the LD one. There was a lot of jab into grab going on that set. The little two piece from Spark up into Forder. Very safe spacing, just coming down with those backers far outside of Pikachu's grab range. Doing a really good job here of playing around those threats. Jab up smash, it's gonna work at that percent. Once Pika's at like 100 or so, you have a huge opportunity. Uh, it's just that like, that short range of percentages between like 90 to like 110, where the jab is knocking down, but uh, like not too much knockback. And you have a really tight window to to land that up smash. <laughs> well, Spark arrived on the scene with the run skin and looked a little unprepared for what to do there. It seemed like uh, maybe he had the right idea on what way KFAT was going to attack, but just accidentally ended his run early and maybe wanted to do a move but couldn't. Foretold. Oh, he's just waiting for the check. Oh my gosh. Spark has just found the foretold button and look look at he's just walking around foretilding now. <laughs> he's like, let me just walk back and foretold you again. I think I think we're out of that now. There is like there was definitely a period of like 15 seconds there where Spark like realized his foretold is huge and that like, KFAT doesn't know how to deal with it. I was just like, oh I'm just going to foretold. And then he like remembered, wait, there are other things I can do with this game too. <laughs> Started playing normally again. But I like the idea. Uh, boxing people out with the Fox foretold is so good. And look, he's doing it again. He's like, yeah, I can just foretold you. <laughs> it's so hard to deal with. Uh, it's like the fastest foretold in the game and one of the longest as well. <laughs> he's, he's walking so much more than he was before. He's just like walking outside of Pikachu's range and carefully spacing these moves. <laughs> this is like a complete change up from Spark in his approach to the game. Uh, I think he, what has happened is he's discovered a simple game plan that is going to work and he's just sticking to it because he feels like it's enough. And the execution barrier for walking around and forward tilting and up tilting is so low. He can just keep doing it. Oh, he wanted jab up smash there for sure. Forward tilt, tech chase up smash. And you know Spark has those fundamentals in smash. He's such a good melee player. He knows how to call out those techs and just get the up smash. That's something even like a lot of like really good Fox players don't do enough, is foretold tech chase up smash. Uh, it's a very good option. Against even like lighter characters, you can true combo foretold and up smash as well. Like Mario and Jigglypuff. But uh, against Pikachu, yeah, foretold and then it's such low cooldown that you can just run up there and cover their head. So Spark was up 3 to 1. Kvat was able to close that out. Hello. Hello, JPX. What's up? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I don't even have like data on my phone, so I'm just like, I'm just out here. Yeah. So Spark was able to take that game with the adjustment. Uh, like I was saying, so many more Ford tilts now. Just yeah, like uh, using using his sense of spacing and timing, to just keep Pikachu at bay with some nice simple moves. If that's a, <laughs> I love this too. This is so fun because I've been watching Spark play this whole time, uh, and Spark has not been doing this. This is just a straight up like like a micro situation. A mini game has been invented in order to deal with this Pikachu. <laughs> Yeah, Spark has just been chilling on this setup, running matches, people have been sitting down to play. That's the way to do it if you can, right? Uh, I remember last year in my D2 pool, I sat in that very chair and did the same thing. I think I played like three or four people in a row. It's a fun thing to do.
Spark getting the dash attack. Check Chase calling out the tech in place again. He had the right idea, but got there with the run skid. Once again, uh, that's the second time I've seen Spark make that error where you accidentally let go of run when you're trying to up smash, and it just makes you like inactionable. And it just like messes stuff up. I mean, you can jump cancel it, so you should still be able to up smash. I think it's just like a missed input, and then weird stuff happens. Up tilt up air? Yeah. That's barely not enough, actually. Wow. I would have thought that would kill Pikachu. Spark is just holding onto this lead. Okay, that gets the aerial. Spark is below the ledge. Oh, but he wasn't confident. That was a great angle, too, from Spark. Getting that perfect wall ride. Back air is going to put Fox really far off the stage. In fact, going so deep in the edge guard attempt, Spark was actually too low to even make it back. So we've got even stock down here, but oh, and I missed of the angle from K Fat. Spark up two to one now. In the up tilt. Oh, big damage. We got the 2007 combo coming out again. I want to see Spark go back into F tilt mode. There we go. F tilt, dash attack, F tilt again. It's so huge. What do you do? If you're not like a really experienced player, how do you play around this? I remember when I was new to the game, I did the same thing all the time. I would just like four tilt over and over again with Fox, and people just can't get in on that four tilt step. Oh man. Spark is off the stage. If I'm missing the edge guard, bad position and doesn't hit the up the Spark turning that set around, maintaining that composure after dropping the first game. Taking out the Pikachu. It looks like Queso is lining up <laughs> to sit down and play Spark next. Queso is our next participant in the Spark.